Hi everyone, we continue installing our electric motor. Next step is to make an adapter shaft from the reduction gear to the gearbox. I didn't have the original drives from Nissan Leaf, by the way, they aren't so cheap. At the chop shop we managed to find a drive from Hyundai Tucson. It fits perfectly according to the spline joint. The only thing needs to be changed is the filler block, as the shaft in this place is a bit thicker. Of course, it'd be really great if the shaft was straight without using the CV joints, but a small hood space leaves no choice. There are two ways, whether to raise the gearbox, which isn't really good, or to lower the reduction gear below the bumper, and it will stick out and ruin the whole look. I chose the version of the drive with CV joints. A clutch disc from Dewu Nexia approached the spline joints of the gearbox. I'm gonna take those spline joints for the drive. In order the drive can work at an angle, we need a second CV joint. The earlier sawn-off spline coupling will be welded to it. The spline coupling will be welded through a segment of the thick-walled pipe, so it won't interfere with the movement of the CV joint's bearings. Now we can weld a spline coupling to the pipe and grind everything for the size of the insert bearing. It's needed to reduce the load on the primary shaft of the gearbox. After the fitting we need to connect two spline shafts between each other. I made one more fitting to find out the length of the shaft. I'll connect the shafts on a lathe. It'd be easier if the tripod joint could be removed, but it's well welded, so I'll join along with it. I'll try to make a shaft coupling to connect two parts. Then I neatly connected two shafts with weld spots on the lathe, constantly checking for the whipping. The drive turned out to be pretty mobile, it'll have good reserve for installing the reduction gear at an angle. What about stiffness and torque transfer from the reduction gear to the gearbox, I'm fully confident that such construction should calmly handle the load. After all, this is the very same drive, only the torque transfer goes into the gearbox, not into the wheel. Here rises another question whether the gearbox will handle the whole torque transfer. It'll be clear after the tests of course. Now I want to fix the insert bearing on the gearbox. For this purpose I used that adapter plate which once connected the engine from the rototiller and the gearbox from Moskvich for the buggy from PUBG. Next step is to refine the reduction gear. Specifically, this is going to be the welding of the differential, because without it the differential will transfer torque to the free drive and Cybertruck won't be able to move. 
The reduction gear condition is excellent, the bearings are also in a good condition. The reduction gear will be welded in a classic way through the plates. In order the oil doesn't flow through the hole, we need to plug it. By the way, we can make a power shaft and put the snow clearer and mounted mower on the Cybertruck, but this all certainly is in theory. Now the reduction gear can be set in its place. A plate was welded to the subframe for it. The gearbox casing will interfere with installation of the electric motor, it should be cut from above. At the same time it gave the access to the insert bearing. Now the electric motor can be installed. It'll be sideways due to the position when it was still under the Nissan hood. It's convenient that the coolant jacket sockets are on top. We just need to saw the bracket a bit, so that it doesn't touch the subframe. I welded a tube at the back of the motor and welded the fixator to it for another attachment. Just in case, I made another mounting spot in front. When the power unit is in its place, it's possible to install an inverter. It'll be located right there. It'll be convenient to pull the wires from a high-tension battery to it. Then I connected all the wires and checked the mechanics. There is small rattling, the problem is yet unknown. Aside from those small knocks everything seems to work as it should. Now I want to check whether this assembly can start the Cybertruck off the spot. There's still no throttle pedal. I turned the variable resistor with my own hands from under the hood. The mission to make a move failed. Without a steering rack the wheels just converge and don't go anywhere. So I'll have to put a steering rack. I completely forgot about it and there was no place for it. Thus I had to put it in that wrong position. A very large angle won't let it work correctly and during the suspension movement the wheels will steer up themselves. I should to come up with something in the future. Till now we put it to check the wheels didn't converge during the movement. I also installed another lever on the rear suspension as there were also the front steering knuckles that could steer up. Now we can fearlessly check the power unit. You can immediately hear the crack from the gearbox. Something is wrong with it, somehow it becomes blocked under the load and twitches. We turned off the front-wheel drive and tried the same thing with the rear one. A cardan was installed for this purpose. The situation hasn't changed, there was a hammering on every gearing. Seems like the teeth of the gear wheels are broken and need to be changed. Aside from that, everything works and calmly pulls the whole Cybertruck. In the next part we're going to disassemble the gearbox and find the defect and also we'll try to make the first move out.
With this, probably, promising data, this part is coming to its end. Thanks everyone for your attention and support. See you in the next video.